As the proud father of a bride, I have to confess to being somewhere in the floor because Rebecca has two doubts. The other being Dallas, Linda's husband, husband. The first time Rebecca referred to him as dad, she asked if I minded. I didn't, as I could not hope for anyone better than Dallas to share that role, and I can only thank him for the kindness, love, and support that he's shown to our daughter. Clearly <laughs> hungover young man wearing dirty jeans with holes in, pants up the top of his back, a very scruffy looking t-shirt, and <laughs> and me, although these are mine, and a considerably better quality than the ones he was wearing. In all seriousness, thank you very much for all your contributions and advice. Some we asked for, some we didn't. <laughs> I really appreciate it. I know Queen Girl was pleased and relieved in equal measure to have you there on time to walk her down the aisle today. <laughs> you jest about your poor time that you've been, but you're always there when we need you. And we know you that. <laughs> she gets on the runs of the litter, so hanging out with me makes you all feel a little bit better about this. <laughs> Thank you all very much for a great stat, Duke. Believe it or not, I was relieved with just a broken arm. It could have been a lot worse. I could have ended up kissing Jim. Hey, Dave. <laughs> just unfortunately, despite the girl having managed to successfully remember the boy's birthday for each of the five previous years they've celebrated together, for this, his big birthday, she seems to have had a lapse of concentration. <laughs> As such, the wallet is now a useful reminder of the boy's 30th year and one month from this day. <laughs> now, despite this, the boy hopes that the girl knows that he loves his little wife, and he probably loves it even more because of his imperfections. Because that little wallet makes him smile every day. <laughs> All I can do is stand and laugh because, believe me, this thing writes itself. <laughs> For apparently no reason whatsoever, it endangered my life, <laughs> as well as his own, by recklessly throwing us down a flight of stairs in a hotel in Berlin. <laughs> you see, after an eventful eight hours in a &E, with several checks and an x-ray, it was concluded that he had had nothing more than a slight bruise to his arm. It was explained to him that he'd be given a caution and have to pay a fine, but would be allowed to leave straight away. All he needed to do was simply state his name and address for the record. What was his response? No comment. <laughs> I was going to say something lovingly about how they met, but considering Rebecca was living with her boyfriend at the time and he was also casually dating three other women I kind of feel that's not a really a nice romantic point to end on I'd like to raise a toast to Mr and Mrs Strong